now, um, let's do an order effect for this one. And this is a scene that's, um, it's got a lot of snow, it's got a lot of harsh details on the tree. So the order effect will really help us. And this is the way I do it. Control shift alt E creates a new layer. And that new layer, we're going to call it order effect. And it really adds a soft tone over everything. We're going to go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And depending on your file size, you would have to choose, you know, change the pixels. We want something, you know, like that. So that details are basically being, you can't really see what's going on. And it's putting a nice blur over everything, but it's not completely like washed out. Like that. And you still want some sort of detail behind it. Like you'd still want to see the shadow areas and the highlight areas, right? So this is why. I would say probably around 127 or something like that with my file size, I would be happy with that. So I'm going to say okay to that. And then we simply are going to bring the opacity of that down to like maybe 10%, no more, 8%, 10%, something like that. And now at the same time, what we're going to do is we're going to take this order effect to the next level. So why don't we just keep it at 100% for now? Let's take this into filter, camera, raw filter. Okay. Camera raw filter, we take the order effect into camera raw filter. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add to this blurred layer because we don't want it to just be a blurred layer. We want the highlights of the blurred layer to actually have a little bit of color in there, a little bit of more luminosity in there. So that when we bring the opacity down, it shows that extra luminance in those highlighted areas. So the way we do that is we can go into our color grading section, what we can do is we can first of all add some color into the highlights. So really nice tone into the highlights like that. And we'll bring the balance up just like that. And then at the same time, we'll go back into our basic section. We'll bring the whites up a lot. Really bring the whites up like that. And it's looking good and go back. Let's just choose a nice color in the color grading section. And if it's too much, we'll just go and we'll just bring the Bring it down like that, just like that. That should be good. And we're gonna say, okay, to this. so now we've taken that order effect the next level, okay? Now that it's like this, now if you bring the opacity down to zero and slowly bring it up, look at the difference that it adds to the whole fire. Right now it starts to really just, you can even go crazy. Now we, you can even leave it at 16, it's gonna look great. So look at it before and after before, after. It just adds a soft tone with color and the way it's really supposed to be. Thank you very much for sticking around and I'll see you guys at the next event. Cheers. Join us at Photoshop World, September 24th through 26th. Learn more at photoshopworld.com.